What's up guys, we are back with a Super 7 reaction review, taking a look at the most recent batch of Mickey related figures. And this goes back to a super, super old Mickey short. You know, it's one of the vintage series kind of things. Uh, we're talking Mickey's Hawaiian holiday uh, today. So we've got four figures to talk about. Uh, we've got, of course, Mickey himself. We've got Donald. We've got Minnie. We've got to have Minnie as well. And then we've got uh, Goofy also. So it's a set of four, and they're all themed to this particular short, the Hawaiian holiday, and they come on very vintage-inspired cardbacks. Not just the fact that it's reaction, so they're on cardbacks, but the actual artwork, the design aesthetic, all of it looks like something that jumped out of that short. So you've got all the figures here on uh, individually themed card backs, so each figure gets their own card artwork. Figures are there in the bubble and then the back. Uh, kind of has like a, uh, a postage motif, so you've got a stamp up top and then a, uh, and then a cross sell for the four figures in this wave. So let's do it. Let's pull them out and take a look. And here we go, out of the package, Mickey Mouse himself. We're gonna start with the mouse because I don't think, legally speaking, you can start with anybody else when a Mickey's involved, so I'm going to play it safe. And we've got our Hawaiian Holiday Mickey Mouse. Now, of course, this guy isn't necessarily as Hawaiian Holiday as the rest. Like, he is, but he isn't, because the others are super, super themed based on their outfits. Uh, he is not when it comes to this figure, so he's very much like a classic vintage Mickey, which I suppose kind of works twofold. So you've got one that goes in this set, but then also just kind of like a classic Mickey. Uh, now, th these are different from your normal reaction figures too. Uh, they still have all that same articulation, so functionality-wise, it's the same. Uh, it's more the form. They are different just because they are larger scale for what they are. Uh, so they're still, you know, 3.75-ish inches in terms of size, but scale-wise, they don't really work with your other stuff. So you're maybe not going to throw these guys in with your Phantom Star Killers or your Worst or anything like that. Uh, they still have all of the articulation, but they're just a little bit different. Uh, just like some of the other, you know, bigger, more robust reaction figures we've seen recently. So he does retain the five POA, so head, arms, and legs. Not a lot of posability. I mean, I'm not going to harp on that. It's, it is what it is. That's what reaction is supposed to be about. It's about, it's more about form than function, really, when it comes to the figure. It's about what they look like and the aesthetic. And these guys really kind of ooze a specific aesthetic, very classic Disney. Uh, they are covered in paint. And then, of course, this specific Mickey uh, does have the very classic telltale vintage look about the face. So it's not the, it's not the super white eyes. You've got the flesh tone, basically. A decided lack of detail in some ways is the best way to describe it. And then you've got his red trunks, you've got the gloves, you've got the sort of mustardy color boots. He does come with uh, his guitar, and this is this is the one accessory that he comes with, and it's a reaction figure, so it's not like you expect him to be able to play it, but he can hold it like this, you know, so he can have it on his person. I will say, or on his mouse, rather. I will say that the hands on these are a little bit hard, so you might want to heat them up just to just to get it in there, because everything is a little bit harder plastic, so maybe not stress it. Uh, but otherwise, this is a pretty cool little figure. And like I said, if you don't really care about the Hawaiian holiday aspect of this, you know, don't even give him the guitar, and you've got a classic Mickey. So it works well, kind of a twofold thing. But the details are all there, I guess the lack thereof. It's, it's a very basic kind of design, but it very much looks screen accurate. I'm really happy with the way this guy looks. He's he's definitely going to to jump out on your reaction shelf, especially in comparison to the more normal style of figures. Minnie is very much more of the same when it comes to this wave, although she she does have a few differences. She does not have any accessories unless you want to count the lay. It is not removable because it's put on during construction. So, I mean, I guess if you wanted to pop the head off somehow, I'm not going to tell you how to do that or suggest you do it. It is removable. It's a hard plastic piece, so also watch out. You know, I'm con my only real concern here is that you're going to see some paint chipping or or scuffing, really. Uh, but she is very much just like Mickey. So you know, here they are next to each other. They're very much cut from the same cloth when it when it comes to figure construction. So a lot of paint, and then not as much detail. I'm, I don't mean that in a negative way. Again, uh, it's just sort of how they are. So more of that flesh tone for the eyes rather than the stark, stark white. And then you've got a little, uh, you know, like eyeliner up there. She does have her, her grass skirt, which is sculpted. And then you've got some uh, flowers on it. Again, I do really like the fact that the lay is free floating. It does, of course, you know, I do have some concerns about it because of any potential scuffing but I think it looks good rather than it being sculpted on. She's got her heels down here, and then she does have leg articulation under this skirt, but of course, 
it's a plastic skirt, so she can only go so far. Uh, so she is a little bit more limited when it comes to posing, but her her big thing from this short was just hula dancing. So she only really needs to do kind of like this, and you've kind of set the scene a little bit. So you've got two two mice to go with uh, with here, and I think they look pretty great. I'm really happy with specifically the way they look together. They very much work, and this just sort of, you know, again, oozes classic Disney. Now, my favorite in this wave is undoubtedly Donald, and I, and I say that not specifically as like a Donald Duck fan. Goofy is usually my guy, uh, but this figure just kind of has a little bit more going for it. He has all of the same things that Minnie has when it comes to the lay, the grass skirt. He's got an instrument like Mickey does, but he's got a lot more detail because of what he's wearing. And then there's also one little thing that they included in the sculpt that I like to see based on what he is wearing that isn't his normal outfit. So, uh, you know, you've got your telltale, uh, like, you know, sailor's hat, tons of paint up on the head sculpt, the free-floating lay. This one is a little bit easier to work with than, than many because, of course, Donald has a longer neck, so it's got more room to just sort of breathe, really. Uh, it's the same piece. It just sort of floats around. He's got all this paint all over his uh, uniform here, so black tie, black bow tie. You've got the buttons. You've got, you know, the white stripes on the uniform. He's got the grass skirt, and what I'm talking about here, what I really like to see, this tail sticking out the back. They didn't have to do that. You know, you could have just had it, just the skirt be done, but it adds an entire different bit of dimension to this figure by having this massive, you know, duck butt basically sticking out the back end to the point where they had to, you know, loop the skirt over it. It's, it's a small thing, but it's a little thing that's very specific to Donald. So I like I like seeing that. And then of course you've got his, uh, you know, webbed feet down there. And he's got, you know, I guess this is like a ukulele or something probably. It's not the same thing that comes with, uh, with Mickey. It's a different sculpt, different size entirely, really. So they have uh, the makings of a small band, but I do really like Donald. He's very much He's very much, again, a classic interpretation of Donald, but within the confines of this particular short, a lot of paint, a lot of little detail all, all over him, and I don't know, there's something about the fact that his uh, little tail feathers are sticking out of the back of that grass skirt just works for me. And then last but certainly not least, the man himself, generally speaking, my favorite when it comes to a more classic Disney character, Goofy, and, and he's just a little bit different here in terms of everything, really. So he's a different form factor. He's bigger, so here's... Uh, Here's Mickey next to him. You can see that he's a bigger figure, but I think there's definitely a scale thing going on. Goofy is either way too short or the other figures are way too tall just to make it so that they aren't diminutive. It's not a huge thing, it's just a thing. But he's in, of course, this very classic bathing suit. So he's basically completely covered in clothing, red, blue, and uh, kind of orange mustardy color. He's got his boots on there. You've got the hat going on. And his head is like permanently crooked a little bit. So he's kind of got this weird expression going. And the ears are even sort of drooping in a specific way. He does come with the surfboard. And this is... It's kind of a, a necessary thing, honestly. So you can get him to sort of hold it like this and it'll prop him up. It does have a peg on it, so you can actually, you know, put him on it and he can start, you know, hanging 10 or whatever you want to do. But without it, he's really, really, really difficult to stand because he's kind of got this, well, no pun intended, he's got this really goofy pose going. So I'm having a really difficult time making him just stand on his own. Ultimately, I'm probably not going to worry about it because I can get him to stand with the surfboard just fine, and he, that's what I'm going to do anyway. So maybe that's the intent, but if you don't have it, because he has, he's got like a, it's kind of like the old Playmates Turtles thing, really, where he's in a very specific pose. You can see those feet, they're, they're very much posed in a specific way. He's even got a bent knee already, so he is kind of pre-posed in a very specific way, and I'm just having a really difficult time even trying to make him stand. So, you know, maybe word to the wise and just try to try to use the surfboard with him, and he'll stand up just fine. And if, you, if you're worried about that, otherwise you've got a couple different ways to keep him up. I do think he looks really good. You know, he still retains the same amount of articulation. His legs are a little bit limited because, well, they've, they've got that shirt to contend with there, but he's not gonna be doing much anyway if you're putting him on the surfboard. So he can stand up just fine when he's holding it and when he's standing on it, but I do think there is something a little bit wonky going on when he doesn't have it. So yeah, overall, these are fun little figures. That's that's kind of what it comes down to for these. They are fun little figures that are very much themed to a very specific era of Disney, and I, I'm kind of here for it. I do like this kind of stuff. And again, uh, they are very different kind of reaction figures. They aren't your normal kind of figures when it comes to the reaction branding. They aren't humanoid, vintage Kenner Star Wars kind of things. 
They're just five POA Disney figures that are in a very uh, 3.75, four inch style of sizing. I do like specifically Donald the best. I think he's just a lot of fun, a lot of cool little design details about him. He works really well as a little squat figure. Mickey and Minnie look great in this particular format. And then of course, Goofy, usually my favorite. I do think he looks fantastic. I like his goofy little outfit and I love the surfboard, but I do think he has issues standing. So that's going to do it for this look at the Super 7 Reaction Mickey Mouse Hawaiian Holiday Figures. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.